United States Supreme Court yesterday ruled six to three in favor of preserving subsidies for the Affordable Care Act, handing President Obama a definitive win on his signature law. For the Republicans, this was a stinging loss, the final nail in the coffin on their attempts to undo what they've called Obamacare. The case of the heart of the ruling was King versus Burwell, a legal challenge that was based on a technicality. The Los Angeles Times explained that legal experts saw it, quote, as a fatuous misreading of the law and a tortured effort to bend the process of statutory interpretation for ideological ends, end of quote. But privately, some Republicans expressed relief, knowing that if 6.2 million Americans relying on subsidies had suddenly lost them, the GOP would have paid a stiff political price. Joining me in studio today is Paul Song, executive chairman of the Courage Campaign, a board-certified radiation oncologist, longtime activist in the fight for universal health care, and he was also named the very first visiting fellow in the California Department of Insurance. He is an executive board member of Physicians for National Health Program and co-chair of California's of, uh, Campaign for Healthy California. Welcome to Uprising, Paul. Thank you so much for having me. Welcome back to the show, I should say, since we've had you on before to talk about these challenges to the Affordable Care Act. Can you first explain the technicality on which the case was brought? There have been many legal challenges to the ACA. Was this a sort of last-ditch, uh, desperate attempt to gut it? Yes, it was, and really it was based on some sloppy uh, lack of uh, transparency and reading of the, the bill that was written. So there was a, a clause in that that said that all of the subsidies would be set for patient, people to buy health care under state-run exchanges. But as you know, a lot of the states balked at setting up their own exchanges, and the federal government was forced to step in and set up the exchanges. And what this basically was saying is that they were a, a really breaking the law because it was only meant to buy a subsidy that was set up by the state but not by the federal government. Mm -hmm. So it was based on those few words. Now, yesterday everybody was, the, uh, you had a lot of different opinions, but what we know about Justice Roberts is he's always about protecting corporations. And this was really less about protecting patients as more as it was protecting the health insurance industry, hospitals, and all of the medical corporations that would have really suffered a lot of harm, not to mention the 6.2 million pay people. Right, because the subsidies that those millions of <coughs> Americans are receiving are going to health insurance companies to provide these millions of people with health care. It's essentially the federal government giving tax dollars to help poor people get insurance from insurance companies that are private companies. Correct. So 